Hey everybody and welcome back to Tens of Motorsports. Today we're going to be doing some more and sell product reviews. We did the battery tester a few weeks ago and today we'll be doing an OBD2 scan tool. Before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like if you enjoy this type of content. Also, make sure to follow us on Instagram, Tenza underscore motorsports, where we do giveaways. All you have to do to be part of any of the giveaways is be following us. We pull our winners from our follow list. So Ansel sent me this battery tester a while back, and uh, I liked it. It was, it was fairly simple. And now we're going to be looking at an OBD2 scan tool. Now, I'll be honest, I did open it up, and uh, now I can't get it back in the box. <laughs> um, I, mostly because I wanted to make sure that it didn't need... Uh, any like battery charging or anything like that before we started the video because that's always a pain to get everything all set up and then find out that I've got to charge the device. Neither of these items use an internal battery, which is nice. I'll have a link to the battery tester up here. And now we're going to be looking at this OBD2 scan tool. I've done a lot of OBD2 scan tools in the past and through RevMatch, who actually does the tuning for these cars, their software actually has all sorts of diagnostics and things like that. And if I'm needing to clear an airbag and things like that, I can do that. What I really want to do is go over the user interface with you guys. Um, when you're buying a scan tool, the biggest thing is how complicated is it going to be? How hard is it going to be to use? Look, I just want to look up check engine lights. Uh, I want to see them and, and, and clear them. If that's all you're wanting to do, something around this price point is perfect because that's really all there is to it. You can't always make it too an auto parts store, especially where, you know, if you're working on a car, if you got a project car, they're not always running. Sometimes you need to be able to scan it at home. And for a scan tool under $50, it's a pretty good deal. So what is the user interface going to look like on this? I have not booted this up at all. All I did is make sure that it doesn't have an internal battery so that when I go to record this video, I'm good to just plug it in and start rolling. One thing I did see is it does have this nice bag, which is always nice to have you put it in your jockey box. And then obviously in here, you're gonna have your owner's manual. And then you actually do have a data cable here. So this is a USB cable. And this cable allows you to move data from scanning your car over to a computer, print it out, things like that. Uh, very similar to the battery tester. So let's get this thing started up. We'll just play with it and uh, I'll tell you if I think it's easy for you. There's not like a uniform user interface for these. And I do not like scan tools that are super complicated. I actually have a Snap-on Apollo D8 at work and I hate it. I hate it. It's, it's, it's horrible. The UI is, I'll pull one of these out. I'll pull one of my cheaper ones out to go and actually scan the cars. And shy of just like clearing an airbag and stuff like that, like an airbag light, if I don't have to use that, that five or six thousand dollar scan tool, I won't use it. And it's truly just down to how their menu systems are set up. So I am pretty picky about that. If I'm telling you, because I've done previous OBD2 scan tools in the past, if I'm telling you that I like this tool and go ahead and purchase it, it was because it was simple. I'm just trying to scan a code and clear it. We're not trying to do anything crazy. If it's got anything beyond that, if it's simple and it's got anything beyond that, that's just icing on the cake. Most of the time when you're spending 30, 40, 50 bucks on a scan tool, you just want it to, okay, what codes am I getting? Let's clear them and be done. Let's hook it up to this guy right here. This car does not have a fuel system in it, like an original fuel system. It does not have the um, EGR in it. And so oftentimes these scan tools won't catch that. So we'll see if this catches some of that and uh, see if there's any codes on it. So let's plug it in and see how it does. All right, welcome to my wife's pink on pink on pink on pink car. You don't get much girlier than this. So we are going to be plugging this in. So here we are, our OBD2 port. And then we're gonna make sure that our ignition is on. So immediately it pulls up with the menu. Looks pretty simple so far, OBD2, let's, um, Enter. Okay, and then we go here to monitor status. All right, so then I just press enter, and now here we are to read codes. Please wait. This vehicle has no fault codes. So we're gonna exit back out of this. Then you would normally go to erase codes. Are you sure you want to erase codes? You press enter. Please turn on, please turn ignition on with the engine off. Press and enter any key to continue. Okay, there we go, it's all been cleared. If we're just talking about reading and clearing codes, there you go. So let's see, cause this is this legit's the first time I've actually had this on. Let's see what else we've got. 
I am readiness data stream freeze frame O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, test or component vehicle information. So um, let's see what this is, because honestly, beyond this, I'm not really sure what all some of this is since, oh, okay, so since DTCs were cleared and this drive cycle, so it'll actually tell you the history of, of when codes were cleared, data stream. So this would be if you are capturing any information that you need to move over to the computer using this port here. This is uh, where you could go to see some of that. Fuel system status, calculated load value, engine coolant temperature. Okay, so this is like some live data stuff too. In tank air temperature. Okay, so this actually does do live data. Um, not gonna be starting the car right now, but kind of figured when I saw uh, onboard monitoring that maybe that would be the live data, but let's go here to freeze frame. This vehicle does not have freeze frame data. I'm not sure exactly what that is. O2 sensor test. Bank one, sensor one. Rich to lean, lean to rich, low sensor voltage, high sensor voltage. Okay, so it'll actually check your O2 sensors, which is kind of cool. And you go back here and you go to sensor, bank one, sensor one, bank one, sensor two. So now do bank two sensors. Interesting. Okay, well, that's interesting to know. And then we're gonna exit out of this, go back out here to the main menu. Let me see if I can turn off the beeping. There we go, turn off the beeping. <laughs> kind of figured you guys wouldn't wanna hear that through the entire video. So let's go through the tool uh, setup here. Uh, you got language, unit of measurement, the beep, record, background, feedback. Oh, background, what's background? Oh, that's cool. Night mode. Okay, so day mode. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Let's go back to this. I think it's a little bit easier for everybody to see that on camera with it like this. Um, and then feedback, interesting. Automatic recording is ready. Perform the related functions that require feedback. Have the execution, disconnect car, connect the computer to USB. Recorded to us, interesting. So I wonder if Ansel actually has a um, help team or something. Cause that's kind of what this is making it sound like. That'd be really cool if it does. Oh, you know what? This is cool. Let's see here if this, this actually tells you, tells you what the, um, the code looks like. Okay, hold on here. How do I go to the next thing? Okay, this is cool. So it actually tells you what the codes are. Hold on, let me see if I can look something up. So, oh, okay, all right, here we go. Figured it out. You'll press enter and down at the same time to go over and you'll press enter and up to go back this way. So I know that um, in our Porsche, we were fighting P0300. So let's do this, P0300, press enter, boom, there you go. That is way cool. Actually, this feature, I really like this feature. Sometimes it doesn't really tell you what, like it'll just give you, oh, PO300, PO300, one, two, three. And you're like, okay, well, what does that, what does that mean? Then you're, then you're Google searching it. You could actually come over into here and, um, and look it up. So let's do 301, which is another code. Cylinder one misfire detected. That is way cool. I actually really like that feature. That is, I've, n I've never seen something like this on, any scan tool, let alone one like this. Oftentimes this description will come up when you scan it. So this isn't always needed, but I don't know. I think that's, I think that's way cool. So anyways, let's see what else we got here. Review. Um, so these would be reviewing all of the captured um, logs or, or codes that, you, that you're wanting to get on the computer, tool or information. Okay, so this is just like the data and everything on the tool. And then I think we already went over this. So that right there and the center button do the same thing. You can be almost anywhere and hit this and it'll go back to that. So we'll keep this video short and sweet. If you're looking for a scan tool that just reads and clears, has a couple other little features and is not difficult to work with, this is a fantastic scan tool. 
I, again, hate tools that are hard to use the interface. I, like, I spend more time doing this than, than working on the car, fighting the scan tool, trying to clear codes. And this one is just a super simple, clean, easy to use scan tool. Good job, Ansel. This is the second product I have reviewed and I have been very happy with both of them. So this is one that I'm gonna be keeping around where it's got that little pouch and just take it with you wherever you need it to go. So very cool stuff. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Uh, links to everything including this and the battery tester will be down in the description below. Really appreciate everybody so much for watching. Good stuff from these guys. Huge bang for the buck. It's a fantastic tool and we will see everybody in the next video.